Hello, my name is Bradley, and today I'm going to go over a little bit about sensor location and operation. So, if you will, just take a look here with me. Alright, the engine we've got here today is a Caterpillar C13. Alright. So, the number one thing we're going to start with is the ECU, which is located in this box right here. That's your ECU, uh, or your data bus lines and everything. Run through that ECU, letting your motor know what it should be doing, keeping in programmable parameters, uh, letting you know what's going on with the engine at all times. Um, so, I'm going to start over here with this sensor right here. This is a cam position sensor. Uh, it's a four wire sensor. This is, I'm sorry, this is a three wire sensor. Uh, so basically what this sensor does is it will read the teeth on the cam sensor gear letting you know uh, letting the ECU know when the engine say cylinder one is top dead center or which cylinder is top dead center uh, pretty much letting the engine know when it needs to inject fuel um, most engines have a cam position and a crank position which would be down there behind the dampener vibration dampener but this one has a two-in-one setup um, okay so back here back behind the compressor right there that is a three wire fuel pressure sensor so basically what this sensor does is it just reads the pressure amount uh, of fuel within the cylinder head. Um, feeds back to the ECU once again. And then we're just going to run on over to the other side of the engine real quick and talk about a few things there. Alright, so here we have a sensor that doesn't even run back to the ECU. Uh, this is a boost pressure sensor, which is fed straight to a gauge on the dash. Um, this is a sensor that is just for operator knowledge as you would put it um, and then we've got over here let me find it right back there that would be a coolant temperature sensor so that's gonna allow the operator and the ECU know what temperature the water in the engine is running uh, the coolant per se in the engine uh, what temperature it is because if you want that thermostat open or if the fan should be running faster uh, takes all these into play and regulates the temperature throughout the engine um, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is actually your oil pressure sensor. Let me let me repeat that. Oil pressure sensor. Uh, basically the same thing. Let's the operator and the ECU know that the oil pressure throughout the engine, uh, throughout the block, throughout the head. Um, right back in here. I had the two mixed up. I'm sorry. And I don't have a light on me today, of course. Uh, right back in here, I don't know if you can see it, but right back in there is the coolant temperature sensor. Um, and then right up here, you've got a sensor. See if I can find it.
Got another sensor here. This is in the reservoir. This is just let the this is another coolant temperature sensor. It uh, reads the coolant temperature here in the thermos in the reservoir and it lets the engine know pretty much the same thing if the engine temperature is going down any or going up any um, and then let me see we've got another one Yep, got another one right there. That would be an ambient air temperature or your high pressure uh, sensor for your air conditioning. Um, so basically what it does is it reads the ambient air temperature and the temperature on the line, in the line, and let's see clutch on the compressor know whether or not it needs to kick in or out um, so once again my name is Bradley and that is my overrun of sensors for the day thank you have a great day